need to give you back? Not particularly. I think something's on fire back there. Oh, we had some wild times on this ship, huh? Remember when Sir Elise tried to steal it? Mm -hmm. Which time? He always had a weird fixation on the duck. Think he still does? No, I heard he's dead. Miscreants caught up. Hi, yay, yay. Just get in the damn turret. Come on, you bushwhacking ranus, let's go. Can I shoot on the torture? Or do I still got it? Sulo Pindo. They're programmed to recognize my voice. Hi, yeah, yeah. How much are the deacons paying for me anyway? You aren't gonna talk your way out of this one, buddy. I can get you money, you know. Hey, think about it. Pop these cuffs, you and me get back on the duck, and we'll go rob the damn central core bank. Come on, Dugan, it'll be just like old times. Be like we never left Lago. Or not. <laughs> My dog! So happy to see you back safe and sound. <laughs> She's displeased. I can tell. See, normally, when you abandon your crew to be taken by the police, you're not expecting to see them again. Happy I could facilitate this reunion. Now, about those advocates. Ah, yes. The authorization codes. These were not easy to come by. Well worth the trouble. Codes? You treated me for damn access codes? <laughs> You're more than welcome to stick around. See how this all plays out. I can assure you, this will be long and painful. Should be fun. I really should be, uh... What's the matter, Dugan? Another old cohort to sell out? Gonna hit up a Banu slave market or two? You know what, Zen? Just because we did a few jobs together way back doesn't mean I owe you anything. The Banu have a word for backstabbers like you. Hi, yi yi! Get them! Get off them! What was that about? You couldn't clue me into your little plan?
Got it, Mass. There's no way the Deacon's caught up that fast. I heard you were dead. <laughs> never better. Got a message this morning from an old acquaintance. You will never guess who. I have a couple of ideas. Look, Dugan, I didn't know you were going to spring me from the Deacons. Yeah, well, to be honest, neither did I. Get in the turret. Give it a ten count and then unleash hell. Ten. Hang in there, Mass, just a little while longer. giving lands, across the impossible expanse, a mirage calls, a distant oasis. We chase what most consider myth, pursue an obsession. That's what pushes us to greatness. The Oasis. It's real. The 400i by Origin Jumpworks. Some things just don't go out of style. That the true classics never die. Tour 
maneuvering, exploration, combat, and now introducing Long Haul Freight. The all-new Robert Space Industries Constellation Taurus. Still does it all. At Crusader Industries, we believe that our values are more than a standard of behavior. They're our legacy and our inspiration. We don't defend them through sheer size or firepower alone. We ally ourselves with those who share our core beliefs. We make sure the real heroes make it to where they're needed most. At Crusader Industries, we know that lifting up others benefits us all. Something's on fire back there. Oh, we had some wild times on this ship, huh? Remember when Sir Elise tried to steal it? <laughs> Which time? He always had a weird fixation on the duck. Think he still does? No, I heard he's dead. Experience caught up. Hi, yi yi. Just get in the damn turret. Come on, you bushwhacking ranas, let's go. Gonna shoot on a torture. You gonna get me in a position? Oh, God. 
got it? Or do I still got it? Sulo Pindo. Programmed to recognize my voice. Ay, ay, ay. How much are the deacons paying for me anyway? You aren't gonna talk your way out of this one, buddy. to touring the galaxy's more out-of-the-way destinations. Or you're known for your speed and tenacity. You always deliver. Perhaps you're a peacemaker, taming a wild galaxy. Whatever calls to you, Choose your lifestyle with the 100 series from Origin. After eating the bear's breakfast, Goldilocks explored their house. She saw three chairs and wanted badly to rest her feet. But the first chair she tried was much too small. So she tried the second chair. And it was much too big. But when she tried the third chair, found that it was just right. In a dangerous galaxy, who can you trust to watch your back? Drake's Cutlass Blue lets you take the law into your own hands. With all the attitude you expect from a Cutlass. Formidable suppression options offering a range of lethality, supercharged thrusters, plus an integrated quantum dampener and onboard containment system. The Cutlass Blue, bad news for the bad guys. Only from Drake. With courage. <laughs> For honor. <laughs> In strength. <laughs> Thank you. 
My father always used to say I had wanderer's legs. We all wonder, what's out there? But for me, it was more than that. A stranger in my own world, I set out to find my path. Through all my travels, through all the trials of the unknown, I came to realize that there was really only one thing I'd been looking for. A place to call home. Out here, you've got your crew and your ship. And the only thing that matters is getting the job done. This is your workshop, your playground, your command center. This is your multi-operator laser extractor. Argo Astronautics. Building your future. In conjunction with Bering, we are currently crafting the most devastating Psi 7 mountable ship cannon ever devised. The SF 7, being prototyped in both ballistic and laser configurations, is specifically designed to incapacitate capital-class vessels. Of course, with a weapon so refined, the task at hand is to try and design an equally sophisticated ship to wield it. Even with this prototype, Crusader is up to the task. The mantis is one of nature's most adept predators. Its patience immeasurable. Its focus indomitable. It waits silently for its prey. 
the adroit hunter positions itself for attack, identifying its unsuspecting target when it's most vulnerable. And then, steeled to the task at hand, the mantis strikes. Its prey never stood a chance. This is the right place. Moss has never steered us wrong before. All right, good enough for me. Area 18, 2949, things were changing, you could feel it, and it was Gatsby, the center of it all. How do you get on Gatsby's list? The name on everybody's lips. You never knew where Gatsby might head off to next, but that was half the fun. No one dared sleep for fear of missing something incredible. In Gatsby's world, nothing was off limits. Unless you were trying to crash the party.
No matter where Gatsby may be off to next, whatever mysterious port of call she's heading to. The next time I see her, it won't be soon enough. Targets will never know what hit them. The Ballista from Anvil. Rise above. The allure of the light. We hear the call of the dark. Our legacy is one of precision in design. Of balance and inescapable duality. The portion pool of seemingly opposing forces working in concert to create a consonant equilibrium. The Archimedes on the Merlin. Duality of design. Kruger. Precision. Perfected. Adaptability, defined as being able to adjust oneself readily to different conditions. An invaluable asset in a constantly changing universe. From the Korei, to the Sen, the Mako, and the Tana. Each model in Misk's Reliant family features advanced Shein designs. And the Reliant can acclimate to a multitude of purposes and situations. Contention, communications, discovery, and beyond. 
The universe we live in is always changing. Shouldn't you be? Misk Reliant. Six hundred I has been called a symphony in motion, channeled to create the ultimate in luxury and performance. And at the heart of any orchestration lies the tonal center of the experience, cultivating harmony, resolution, comfort. When traveling the stars, the journey is just as important as the destination. The Six Hundred I Touring Edition from Origin. of ships you can rely on. Like if the job calls for a little more cargo room, you can rest easy with double the maximum rear payload. Maybe you need to go that extra mile. Four dedicated fuel tanks will get you there, and then some. And when you're expecting trouble on the horizon, <laughs> well, even the most brazen outlaw is gonna think twice, staring down two tailor-made missile launchers. Whatever life throws at you, we've got you covered. Misc Freelancer, built for life. There's a new hunter stalking the skies. Take warning. Maximum pilot visibility. Daunting suppression options. Riskless onboard detainment. All at your fingertips. The predators have become the prey. The 2949 Hawk from Anvil. Rise above. There are some designs that transcend time. We look to the past for inspiration, to craft the light fighter of the future. Unmatched design, best in class maneuverability. Leave your enemies bewildered. After all, how can you kill what you can't catch? The 2949 Arrow from Anvil. Rise above. Available now. See your authorized Anvil dealer for details.
time has come for something new. Something to change the game. When seeking fortunes at the fringes of civilization, you need someone you can trust. In this age of uncertainty, it's time to take back your strength. It's time to release the Kraken. Drake Interplanetary, we got your back. It all started with a dream. The need to challenge the conventions of our time. To look at the well-worn path ahead and decide to take another route. What is life if not the culmination of all decisions we've made and the roads we've traveled? We decide to seek out the unknown. take a stand against the unjust in the universe. We are all chasing who we are, who we want to be. Which begs the question, why choose it all? Introducing the all new Alpha, Beta, Delta, Gamma. 2948 Mustang. Dream redefined for the modern era. Soldier. They'll tell you that battles aren't won or lost based on weapons or numbers or even hardware. They're won on choices. For over a century, our ships have distinguished themselves in thousands of civilian and military combat operations. We are proud to announce another weapon in the arsenal of victory. Get ready for the next generation of warfare with Anvil's Valkyrie Dropship. This multi-role weapon platform is designed to get personnel in and out of the hottest combat zones. Featuring four powerful rotating thrusters with VTOL capabilities, the Valkyrie is capable of landing with surgical precision to deploy assets. Fitted with a vehicle bay and ramp, you can also efficiently launch ground-based troop transports or reconnaissance vehicles in the field. Each high-performance operator seat features rugged construction with added support to minimize G-Force for up to 20 personnel, making sure that your fighting force arrives on site ready to jump into the fray. And don't think for a second that the Valkyrie can't hold its own in a fight. Two remote turrets featuring size three hardpoints can provide suppressing fire during deployment. Two additional manned turrets provide even more devastating fire to blur the line between dropship and gunship. In the days of antiquity, the Valkyrie were believed to choose which warriors may die in battle and which may live. With Anvil's Valkyrie, we put that choice in your hands.
life in the city. It comes at you at a thousand meters a second. According to a recent study, the average city dweller is subjected to over 60,000 forms of stimuli on any given day. That much information beamed into your brain, it's not surprising that some people can react a little differently. Desmond Flay, known as Des to his friends and family, was by all accounts a quiet and respectful young man which made his actions on March 8, 2938, even more surprising. It was described as a joyride like no other. A high-speed chase in the skies that covered several hundred miles of dense urban airspace. Within an hour, he had thousands of adoring fans who watched the authorities scramble to catch him. But Des saved his best surprise for last. Local police asked why he did it. Des reportedly took a look around, smiled, and said, I just wanted some peace and quiet. See your local ship dealer for financing options. Certain restrictions apply.
What does it take to build a symphony? It takes a blueprint. Four movements that will dictate key, tempo, and the arrangement of musical notes that will create harmonies. Melodies. It takes an orchestra. Master technicians of their craft, working in perfect unity to transform notes into sound and those sounds into an experience. But most of all, it takes emotion. A feeling so powerful that it transcends words and must be conveyed in another form. Introducing the new 600i from Origin. A symphony in motion. See your authorized Origin dealer for details.
Yeah, I guess you could say ships have always held kind of a power over me. I mean, growing up, I couldn't get enough of them. I'd hang out by the pads any chance I got and listen to the pilots swap stories. My dad used to tell me, you weren't born, you landed. <laughs> but yeah, there, there was always something about them. Oh, these aren't graveyards to me. No, no, they, they, they're a testament of life. I think about all the lives that touched this one ship before it got to this place. It's crazy, right? And there are a few things in this universe that have that kind of power. To me, it always comes down to the people who flew it. The modifications that they made to make it theirs. I mean, we could find 10 Connie wrecks, and even though the layout's going to be the same, every single one of them is going to be different. There'll be some kind of lingering presence to connect you to the people who lived on it. When I look at a ship, I see a person. Now, I know when, when people find these wrecks, all they see are mounds of scrap or a payday or whatever, but to me, Maybe it was just growing up on a dusty rock, but a ship was freedom. There was limitless possibility. sense that electricity in the air? Do you smell those ionized particles? Do you feel your bowels loosening with a deep thrum from hundreds of thrusters firing at once? That, my friends, can only mean one thing. Galactic Tour is once again at the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. This is the premier air and space show in the Empire. The IAE has the biggest manufacturers, the best modders, and the greatest pilots all gathered in one spot for enthusiasts like us to gawp at. I mean, if I had a cred for every time I've said, whoa, you see that? I would be slightly more wealthy than I already am. The point is, I am excited. The best part, we're gonna be here all week long. Get ready for exclusive events, exciting announcements, limited edition ship variants, and exclusive insider access with me, Jax McCleary. There's a lot more coming in the days ahead, so strap in and hold on. Trust me, you're going to want to see this.
Welcome back to the Expo. I'm Jax McCleary and today Galactic Tour is going to be spending some time with the grandfather of them all, Roberts Space Industries. The name is almost as synonymous with space flight as the term space flight itself. Sadly, although they may have invented the quantum drive and dozens of other technological wonders we rely on every day, they haven't been at the cutting edge in centuries. But then that's not why you fly an RSI ship, is it? You fly them because, after all this time, their ships still remain at the forefront of exploration, on the front lines of battles, and in the hangars of new teenage pilots everywhere. You fly them because their ships work. And here on the expo floor, RSI is clearly working overtime. Not only are they bragging non-stop about their new Polaris, but they have their full, impressive range of ships in every class and size proudly on display. To that end, when we come back, we'll finally tackle the eternal question. How many Auroras can fit inside the mighty Bengal's main hangar? That and more as Galactic Tours Intergalactic Aerospace Expo Special continues. Things are really going full blast as expo goers swarm the hall to get up close and personal with all the latest and greatest. And we're right alongside them, elbowing to the front of the line to get a first hand look at a brand that inspires as much loyalty as it does uncomfortable glances. I'm talking, of course, about Drake Interplanetary. If controversy made your ships fly better, then Drake ships would probably fly a heck of a lot better. That's not to say piloting a ship from the no-frills manufacturer doesn't have its advantages. These are ships designed to get you from A to B in one piece, often with all your stuff still aboard, and sometimes, if the rumours are to be believed, with other people's stuff too. To quote Drake's marketing team, these are multi-role vessels, which, when translated, means they may not do anything perfectly, but they do a hell of a lot pretty damn well. We'll put that to the test later on when we see if the Drake Caterpillar is the perfect ship for hosting a wedding. There's plenty more coming up as Galactic Tours Intergalactic Aerospace Expo Special continues. Here we are at the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, surrounded by some of the fastest, sleekest, sexiest ships ever to be plasma forged from dicarbidium laminate, or whatever it is they actually make ships out of. And so, of course, Galactic Tour turns its attention to none other than the ships of MISC. That sound you just heard was the spectrum imploding with angry comments. But to those of you who doubt the beauty that resides in these flying steel sausages, I say to you that there is no manufacturer currently making ships half as interesting as these bastardized hybrids of human and Xi'an technology. While they may have the handling of your living room couch and cockpit visibility of a Min sunset, the bold design choices featured in the Reliant alone are enough to set my cold black heart beating again. MISC, like the way its ships handle cargo, is determined to drag us into the future. And whether you think the Xi'an are trustworthy or not, you have to admit that bastards know how to make a ship. Make sure you catch my one-on-one -on -one sit down with their lead Xenotech engineer when Galactic Tours Intergalactic Aerospace Expo returns. With the sheer size and scale of the Aerospace Expo, it can be easy to get overwhelmed by all there is to see and do. Luckily, you have Galactic Tour on hand to provide laser-like focus on only the best IAE has to offer. Today is no exception, as we set our sights on the mighty military machine that is Anvil Aerospace. 
from Hornets all the way to Super Hornets. Anvil ships are a classic example of designing with a purpose. Every angle of the hull and every rivet is there for a reason. An anvil isn't happy just to rest on their blowing stuff up laurels. With the likes of the Carrack, Crucible and Terrapin in their lineup, Anvil has gone beyond military function to begin to really make a name for themselves in the private sector. Of course, a cynic might say that Anvil has to expand because Aegis is horning them out of all those sweet UEE contracts. But then again, I'm not a cynic. I say the more ships, the better. And boy, are there more ships coming up. Make sure you stay right there as Galactic Tours Intergalactic Aerospace Expo Special continues. Jax McCleary here once again at the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. And apologies if I look a bit tender around the tips. Last night was Origin's big expo party, and let's just say I started off an M50, but by the end of the evening, I was about an 890 jump. To be perfectly honest, I can't think of a better way for Origin's ships to be celebrated than with drunken revelry. From day one, Origin has been crafting vehicles that are as fun to fly as they are to look at. I'm talking the stuff of locker posters. The kind of ship that few middle-aged pilots can resist the allure of. Sure, people may think you're a pompous ass if you come cruising up to the local Cryastro in one, but what do you care? You own a 350R. And they don't. Of course, the fantasy does tend to fade a bit when you have to fly an Origin ship day in, day out, and a few of the more questionable design choices start to rear their ugly heads. Yes, for that much money, you'd expect the seat to be comfortable. And sure, they tend to drift more than a senator making a promise. But then again, who cares when you're flying a ship that looks as good as their new 85X? Speaking of looking good for an exorbitant amount of credits, I'm about to go and get custom fitted for a high-tech racing suit, guaranteed to shave seconds off my lap time. Find out just how tightly it hugs to the curves of my body when our coverage of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo continues. The really incredible thing about being here at the Intergalactic Aerospace Show is the unexpected surprises that sit idling around every corner. Everything and anything from utilising the urinal right next to a certain Squadron 42 pilot to realising my personal fantasy of piloting a Crusader Starliner loaded with the 2946 champion Goss swim team. Ladies, congrats again on the win. You see, on any typical day, the big manufacturers suck up all the air in the room. But at the Expo, regular type people have a wonderful chance to discover some real gems. There's the newcomers like Kruger Intergalactic and Consolidated Outlands, who are still trying to prove themselves worthy with their early outings like the P-52 and the Mustang. Then there's the more exotic options like Esperia's beautifully reconstructed Prowler, or the Xi'an and their shifty Scout. Have you ever stood on those floaty stairs? Don't trust them. Sure, the ship flies like a leaf in the wind, but would a ramp have killed a POA? But maybe the best hidden treasures are the ones you can buy. With a full range of IAE exclusive items on sale, from rare parts to limited edition ships, Galactic Tour will take a hard look at which swag is the most drool-worthy when our special Intergalactic Aerospace Expo coverage returns. It should surprise absolutely no one that the Navy has a big presence here at the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. Not only are there secretive behind closed door talks to be had with the ship manufacturers, the IAE is a prime opportunity for recruitment. For many ship enthusiasts, the only way they'll ever get to fly the incredibly fast and powerful machines on display here is to sign up and serve. Going a long way on that front is the presence of the Reckless Squadron 999 and their stunning flight acrobatics. Nothing prepared me for how much I wanted to climb into a Sabre after seeing what those insanely skilled starmen could do with one. 
to be fair, that's pretty much true of a lot of Aegis ships. Sure, they look nice in the hangar, but it's when you see what one can do in action that your eyes get a little misty and your heart starts beating a little faster. But if you're sitting there right now saying, I don't really care for the Sabre, well, you're in luck because Aegis makes about a billion other combat ships to choose from. With the speed and variety with which their ships are pumped out, you have to wonder which will run out first, Vandul to kill or places to park. A question to ponder over until Galactic Tour returns with even more exclusive coverage from the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. Well, there you have it. It's been an absolutely fantastic week, with this year's Expo going down as arguably the best one this year. Throughout it all, Galactic Tour has been there to give you the lowdown you longed for and bang up a few innocent ships along the way. From lumbering hulks to svelte sloops, today's ship enthusiast has no shortage of options. Sure, half of them may have their own unique quirks and peccadilloes, Yes, I'm the captain. No, I don't want to use the toilet with the door open. But the point is that the choice is there. And choice is a wonderful thing. The chances of you finding a ship you love are greater than ever. And with what the manufacturers have been showing off these past few days, it seems it's only going to get better. Like a Banu slave, I only have hope for the future. Of course, that doesn't mean that there aren't still plenty of festering piles flying out there that you're going to want to avoid stepping in. But that's what Galactic Tour is for, isn't it? I'm Jax McCleary, and thanks again for joining me this week at the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. Remember, life's too short not to be going as fast as you can. See you next time. One year ago, our lives were shattered. But we have not forgotten. United in the face of the Vandal threat, we have dedicated ourselves to creating the universe we have always wanted. A safe and secure UEE for all. Thanks to your continued support in the sale of war bonds, the UEE is proud to announce the Militia Mobilization Initiative authorizing the sale of certain military-grade ships to ensure that civilian militias are properly equipped to defend the Empire in times of need. We will ensure a brighter future for our children. At the forefront of that effort is RSI's newest ship, the Polaris. Combining devastating firepower and searing speed, the Polaris-class Corvette is effective against a wide variety of aggressors and scenarios. From delivering humanitarian aid to tactical operations, the Polaris's ability will make it an essential part of any fleet for years to come. But the Polaris is only the tip of the spear for this grand initiative. A full line of other ships are now available for a limited time. And to support faster mobilization and operational effectiveness, fleet formations are being offered in discounted, pre-designed ship teams. So stand in solidarity with the brave men and women who put their lives on the line and join them in protecting the dream that is the UEE. Answer the call today.
We are drawn towards the familiar. It is safe, reliable, but it can shackle us to the ordinary when in our souls we long to strike out to become something new. We started with a simple mantra. Dare to dream. Dare to challenge the expectations of what's come before. To embrace the unique, to put everything on the line. Only when we risk everything can we discover something truly special and redefine what it means to travel the stars. To explore the farthest reaches. To race on the cutting edge. To protect what you love. Say goodbye to the familiar and welcome the brand new Mustang, where risk meets reward. become more known for looking fast than any sort of actual speed. Take the 300i. A ship that brags about its extra comfy beds isn't exactly what you want when you're looking for a racer. However, all is not lost. Origin has just written us an apology letter. Meet the new M50.
space. The best ships gracefully dance across its expanse. The worst clumsily plod across its face. The new M50 doesn't have time for any of that. Instead, it simply slices its way through. The 2944 M50 was designed with one goal in mind. Make the ship that will win the next Murray Cup. The surprising thing is, Origin may have just about done it. The stats are an orgy of mind-bending numbers, but it comes down to two things, less weight and more power. You'll notice that the nose cone has grown what I can only describe as a moustache, added to stabilise all the additional thrust that the retooled and updated Twin Hammer HM 4.3 drives spew out. And the refinement doesn't stop there. They've narrowed the front fuselage, moved the wings forward for better balance, shaved the cockpit viewpane down to the thinnest it could still be and not shatter in your face. The result? A pure flying machine. Each movement on the stick translates directly into unadulterated throttle action. Welcome back to the glory days of flying. That's all well and good, but when you're talking about a racing machine, at the end of the day, you really have to, well, race it. And who better to prove the M50's metal than the last Origin ship to actually manage a cup win, the 350R. Piloting the 350R is Galactic Gear's very own two-time cup holder, Timo Bakshi. Flying the M50, an incredible man who, for some inconceivable reason, has never won a single Murray Cup. Me. This, my friends, is going to be good. Okay, I'm fine, sir. Did we get it? Jump point has started, sir. Good. Comms, we got any contact? No, sir. Scope is clear. Keep looking. Scarlet, take us on the tour. With pleasure. Got a proto planet, no atmosphere. Unknown planet two. There's an atmosphere. Doctor. It could sustain life.
Calm comes over the spectrum with a jaw. All it says is an amount of cargo, a delicate timetable, and a risky route. You know you've got 42 cubic meters to pack full of profit. We're talking pressurized and shock-resistant construction. So whatever you put in here comes out the same way. You got two Arc Duo 400 engines. Their award-winning colloid ion technology gives you maximum fuel efficiency while keeping your SIG low. across a couple of pirates. Answer, you know the but with a weapon system featuring trusted names like Bering and Cronin, you aren't too worried. Legendary fighter pilot Arya Ryling once said, Give me a fully loaded Hornet, and I'll shake the gates of heaven. Anvil Aerospace's Hornets have faced Vandal, Xion, pirates, and criminals.
logged more combat time and kills in more theaters than any other ship in the history of space combat. Battle-tested in the harshest conditions, the Hornet has proven time and again its ability to withstand damage and still be able to dish it out. With all the punishment it handles on a daily basis, don't you think the new Hornet can handle yours? Honey, I got the ice cream you wanted. F7C. See your authorized ship dealer for options. So I was looking at the new Aurora, but then I was thinking, maybe I should get something that looks a little classy. But then I was like, no, I need something that can pull some serious weight. Maybe I don't need all that cargo space. What about the Legionnaire? Now we're talking. How about some bigger guns? A little bigger. No, a little bigger. There you go. And maybe some rockets, too. Actually, I should probably upgrade the power plant. I did like the leather seats on that LX, though. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's see what this baby can do. like it, but this one is yours. If someone were to ask you, what is speed? What would you tell them? Is it simply a measure of distance covered over time? The magnitude of velocity? Or is it something more? At origin, speed is more than a number. It's a state of being. Speed is a shock to the soul. Speed is a call to action. Speed is... Introducing the 2943 300i from Origin Jumpworks. If someone were to ask you, what is speed, what would you tell them? Is it simply a measure of distance covered over time? The magnitude of velocity? 
Or is it something more? At origin, speed is more than a number. It's a state of being. Speed is a shock to the soul. Speed is a call to action. Speed is... Introducing... The 2943-300i. From Origin Jumpworks.